For what reasons do you think it's a good idea for people to go vegan? I mean, definitely health reasons. Health? Like, definitely. Um, also, just like the way that factory farming is. That factory farming? Is insane yeah. and quite disgusting and uncomfortable. So, I think if more people understood what was going on, it would definitely change. People would avoid those products if they. I think so. If people were like educated on what's what's happening, what's happening, I think people have this idea of a the cute little family farm, and that's not what it is at all. The cute family farm that send all their cute animals to the disgusting yeah. slaughterhouse. Those numbers behind you, what are, what are they? Do they speak to you in any any way? Those numbers? That's wild. Especially yeah. because the United Kingdom is so small. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Do you eat animals? I do. Yeah. And does that make you feel like, wow, some of those numbers are due to your consumption of them? I mean, probably. I'm not a British, so no. I, know, I mean, I, I, actually, I haven't eaten any meat here you in haven't? the UK. You yet, haven't? So that's not due to me. But, you know. But in the US, in America, don't worry, we've, we've got one running in New York as well. New York? LA. LA. Okay. We've got one running in LA too. All right. So, then, those <laughs> so you can't escape be. those numbers. But yeah. it's, it's pretty crazy when you think about how many people are consuming animals every single day and yeah. what that's doing to the environment, to those animals in slaughterhouses, and you know people dropping dead of the number one killer of human beings, which is heart disease. Did you know that? I didn't know that. The number one killer, 17 million people a year die from heart disease. Yeah. So that's insane, isn't it? Have you got any idea why we've got a big board behind us with the amount of animals being killed every year in the uh, UK. I guess you're trying to highlight the fact that it's not a good thing and you're trying to convert people to veganism. We're trying to get people to stop contributing to those numbers. Fair enough. Yeah, would you go vegan for a million bucks? Yeah, probably. You would? Probably. I've tried to, so as I was saying, my girlfriend's vegan, ah. so I've tried to cut down on milk. Yeah. Don't really feel it's kind of that necessary. For what anymore. reasons? Just because, as Chloe was saying, you don't really need milk. It's a bit, the whole concept's quite weird. You're not a baby cow? Exactly. Yeah. Also, you only usually have milk when you're growing up. When you're a baby? Basically. Or a cow? Basically, yeah. So you don't actually need it. So I've tried to cut down on that, but as I was saying to your colleague, it's difficult with meat because you kind of grow up with that and then yeah. you build a meal around it. It's kind of like a staple of your diet. So Interesting that word meat, isn't it? It's it sort is. of like a euphemism. Do you know what a euphemism is? It's like another word to describe something. Yeah, yeah. It's actually the flesh of a dead animal, isn't uh, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Have you ever connected with an animal before? Like a pig or a cow or a chicken? Yeah, I have. The thing, the thing that makes it difficult for people who eat meat, I think, is that it's... Uh, I, don't know if, I don't know if you guys agree with this, but humans are carnivores at the end of the day. A carnivore? Yeah. Like a lion? Yeah, essentially. You don't look like a lion. I know, I know, I know, but... Where's your teeth? Can... Let me see your teeth. Yeah, there you go. Oh, look at those canines. Carnivores. Look canines. at those canines. They've got the teeth out, right? They Do you got, know who's they... got the biggest uh, canines on Earth? Guess what animal? Lion. A hippopotamus. There you go. They're a herbivore. Interesting. Yeah. Where's your, show us your claws. Don't have any. Can you chase a rabbit down and eat him raw? No, I can't, no. Where do you get your meat from? Supermarket. Pre-packaged? Yeah. Just like a lion. I know, exactly. It's a lot of animals yeah. being killed. And do you know what it does to the environment? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it does. I mean, I've read a lot about the methane from beef and all the deforestation. I would struggle with the butter aspect. You know? well, you got, we got vegan butter. Uh, what's that made of? Nutlicks. It's made of plants. Okay. Well, I'll give that a go. It's, it's just, crazy. French food is so delicious. It's hard to give up the cheese and the butter. I, it's yeah. not, I don't even, it doesn't even agree with me. I shouldn't eat dairy, but it's so delicious. Do you know much about the dairy industry? I have to ask you this. Yeah, they keep the cows pregnant and it's crazy. And what do they do with the boys? Uh, the baby probably, boys? Yeah, they probably kill them. Why oh. would they kill the baby boys? There's probably no need for them. It's yeah, sad. they don't produce milk, do they? No, and I've seen the little boy chicks getting farmed off into a blender. Yeah, yeah it's mad. Like, the, do you think that's justified so you can have butter on your toast? Oh, but it's so good. This is the like the, the real crux of it. Is that it's so it's delicious. so tasty. It's so tasty. But do you think I that could... taste overrides the life of an individual? This is where I, yeah I struggle with this. Like yeah. I struggle with the fact that if an animal knows what's going on, we shouldn't probably be eating it. You know, yeah. I'd like to not be farmed myself. And have your child taken off you and killed? Yeah, no, I think, yeah, it's hard. It's really you know, hard. I mean, yeah. the thing is, like, our grandkids are going to be all vegan. And they'll be looking at our generation like, whoa, you guys are crazy eating all that meat. Uh, what turned you vegan? Um, just talking to some friends, which are already veggie and vegan. Yeah. 
I listened to a lot of punk hardcore when I was younger. Yeah. So it's already uh, about that like stretch, uh, straight edge life. So there's a lot of people that are... Uh, vegan straight edge. Yeah, a lot of my friends were already like veggie vegan for long years. So um, so yeah, just after having a few conversations, I did like some research and then ended up like, you know, go, getting on YouTube and watching hours and hours of stuff coming across your stuff. And I was like wow. convinced then, yeah, man. Now you're level 10 vegan. Level 11. Who is the most <laughs> hardcore non-vegan you know in your family? Uh, my dad. Your dad? Yeah. All right, your dad. All right, there's your, there's your dad. You reckon your dad would go vegan for a million bucks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Give him a call. <laughs> Put him on loudspeaker and let me ask him. Okay, cool. This campaign to turn the Pope vegan, would you go vegan for a million dollars? Yeah. You would? For a million dollars? You said no. I mean, I am vegan, like... I yeah, no, but I would... But would, would I mean, would you? I would go vegan for I mean, a million dollars. I am joking, like, why wouldn't you? That's, like, ridiculous. Yeah. But would you, let's just say the million dollars didn't exist, would you go vegan for the other reasons, the, save the earth, your own health, and the plight of those animals? I mean, yeah, probably. I'm slowly, like, decreasing my own meat and animal product consumption anyway. Just my body can't process meat very well. Um, and I think that, like... Cause you, maybe because you're not a, a lion. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I think my biggest issue is the other animal products that aren't necessarily meat. Dairy and eggs. Dairy and eggs. You know, eggs a big those, one. That, that kill counter there is counting all the animals that are killed in the dairy and egg industry too. They all go to the slaughterhouse, so... Yeah. 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 It's interesting to know. Back in the day it was okay. Yeah. But now there's just so many. The, the, we don't have a just yeah. Now, you've got, yeah. How do we no justify? It? How do we ju you justify? Can't really. yeah. It's difficult. It's a very difficult. It's a difficult topic. But so can we talk about the environmental destruction from animal yeah, again, agriculture? That's, it's almost yeah. like a vicious cycle, right? Yeah. We're so destroying you, the earth. And, exactly. In order yeah. to get meat, in order to feed people, then it just goes round and round. We're around. feeding all these crops. Fifty percent of the world's crops are going to animals in factory yeah. farms, and then we're killing those animals, eating them, and we're developing disease. Yeah. yeah. I'll give you a tip uh, about. A true carnivore can't develop heart disease from eating meat. Okay. A, a lion or a, uh, even an omnivore like a dog can't develop heart disease. Heart disease is the number one killer of human beings. Yeah, I agree. A cholesterol found in animal products only. And so that could be a big driving force as well. I also think it's, look, I think it's starting to turn around as well in terms of younger people are more aware of it. Guys like yourself is more yeah. prominent. It's just a case of, as I say, it's a societal thing. You grow up eating meat, so it's very hard to change that around. Cultural conditioning exactly, and yeah, yeah. traditionally passed on, but yeah, we yeah. can break that chain. Agreed. Yeah. It's difficult, but you need guys like yourself to do that. Well, we're relying on the Pope right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so, he's probably not the best example. To, if you're uh, watching this, Pope, Francis. Make the, make the change. What if you found alternatives that were really tasty? I, I think a lot of it is like, there are alternatives and they are delicious, but it's convenience of just being able to just buy some chicken and it's already pre-marinated uh, you put it in and you put in some in it's convenience but it's cruelty yeah it's convenient cruelty yeah it is but i don't have to see it right so i just you know go and buy ignorance it. No, I, no, I is don't. it like willful ignorance or is it what i mean by ignorance yeah. is that you 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 sort of choosing not to uh look into these things yeah. Or to put you it know, at the side of your, yeah, in the you back of your mind. Your, yeah, you're just like, I go to the... Because it's easier, like, yeah, to don't, to not worry about it. it. It's already made. I come home, I put it in my oven. It's a really weird thing. Like, you know bacon's not good for you. It's delicious. So I just try to cut down. I don't eat it very often. It's delicious violence and cruelty and environmental destruction. I know. Yeah. I'm not seeing that, am I? Like, no one does. That's... For me, the reason I stopped eating animals is not because they didn't taste delicious. It's because, you know, in my heart, yeah. I couldn't see that happen to an innocent being yeah. when I had alternatives yeah. to live. Nice. You know, yeah. and also the like, my allegiance to the rainforest and to the environment. Yeah. You know, the earth that we leave behind. Yeah. That was stronger than my taste preference. Yeah. And we've got amazing vegan burgers and vegan cheese and vegan ice cream and vegan pizza and all these different vegan alternatives. Yeah. It seems insane to me to torture and kill someone yeah. and destroy the environment when we have alternatives. Yeah, no, that's uh, it's, a, <laughs> it's a compelling argument. So yeah. Hopefully, we can all do a little bit more. Hey, Dad, you're right. Yeah, not so bad. Uh, I've got somebody who wants to speak to you. About veganism. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey Mike, how you going mate? Who's that? It's Joey Carbstrong, I'm uh, on social media. We're doing street interviews. We're, you know we offered the Pope a million dollars to go vegan? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> um, um, we're, we're he said talking, he'll take it. <laughs> you, you would take a million dollars to go vegan? Yeah. Is there anything else that would make you go vegan? Like the animals or the environment or your health? Uh, 500,000. 500,000. <laughs> He'd take 500,000 to go vegan. Yeah. So, all right, we'll run that on the next campaign. Get Michael to go vegan, 500,000. <laughs> How about this? 
if you were faced with the animal in a slaughterhouse, yep. you know, being choking on their own blood every time you had to go eat their body, yeah. would that change your mind? Yeah, I think if you took a bunch of kids to a slaughterhouse for a, like a school trip, they'd definitely... They'd breathe. be disturbed. <laughs> I think they would be, yeah, and I don't think you'd probably be able to get kids there. Have you seen a gas chamber before? Uh, yeah. Pigs are killed in gas chambers in the oh, okay. UK. I didn't know that. And you can hear him screaming from outside the gas chamber. It's horrifying. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's yeah. disturbing. So it's disturbing to know your food's, your food's screened for their life. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I always ask who's it harder for? Yeah. The animals? Well... Or yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, the answer is probably the animals because they die in a horrible way and no one wants that. Yeah. yeah. Because I'm going out with the vegan now as well. I eat less, I eat less meat generally, so that's a good thing. Yeah. But yeah, I agree. I think, as I said, people are becoming more aware of it. It's just a case of trying to enforce it a little bit more. Um, yeah. And knowing that you have, a, have the power in your hands and there's about 60 million people here in the UK and if we all collectively you know, took this into our own hands and they, took the environment back into our own hands and we can change the world like that. Yeah, agreed.